In our previous section of the tutorial, we saw how to record audio into clips and also how to set up your tracks and your inputs and your audio interface within Ableton Live. In this section, however, we're going to move on now to looking at how to record into multiple tracks at the same time. Again, if you're following along, I've started with a new live set file, new live set. And again, I'm going to delete my MIDI track, selecting it by clicking on it and then pressing my big delete key. Right click in the gray and choose insert audio track. And command T to do the same thing a couple more times. And if you're on Windows, that's simply control T. Now we have four audio tracks. I'm going to choose different inputs. We'll choose four, three, two, and leave one in place. Now let's tab key over into arrangement view for this type of recording. I'm going to record arm all, all these tracks. tracks. Let's start with four so my voice doesn't double. To record arm more than one you have to hold down your command key or change your preferences but let's just hold down command or control key as we click on these and now we've got several tracks armed for recording. I'm going to unfold these just for viewing the audio and I'm going to record one. Now as soon as I do this my voice is going to be doubled temporarily. Command, 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 click. Now we record arm up top and simply click on the play button and watch. Now as I talk we see audio indeed on the first track but on the other tracks we see silence simply because there's no audio connected to my interface and stopping and disarming the record arm buttons on each track. Now the great thing about recording over here in session view I'm going to hide the lower section, detail is hidden there, is that we can see the audio coming in as we're recording. And this is great if you want to make sure you're actually capturing several different tracks. Once you do this you can actually do some warping simultaneously for drum tracks etc for multiple tracks in Ableton Live. But again you see this is a simple way of recording multiple tracks at the same time. Let's go back, tab key over, and here we have an easy view of our input output. And again we have only the inputs that have been enabled. So in this current configuration I can only do six tracks simultaneously. Now you can actually record the same input on multiple tracks, but only do that if you have a specific purpose for that you might be processing something on the way in or something. Okay, so again we just simply right click in this empty area up here and insert audio tracks and we can record as many separate signals as we've enabled in our configuration panel. Recording in Ableton Live is straightforward and should be pretty easy to do once you've got your inputs configured. Okay, next we'll take a look at MIDI recording.